your grandma. Okay, good. Okay, go ahead. Then I gotta dip the uh... Yeah. That's what it's in. Oh, I got a slippery spot. Because I don't have it. Okay. Alright. Put your put your couple uh yeah. Yeah, you cost me. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a measurement from the top of this angle down to the top of the board, but leaving me just a little teeny air gap because you don't want the weight sitting on top of here. You want all the weight on the corner. So, and if it happens to touch somewhere along the way, I'll just have to shave it. But that's what I'm doing there. This side and I'll do that side different because these angles aren't perfect. I've already done that side. Let's get this side done. See, this one's off by, you know, half inch of what the other one is. Just depending on what that log thickness is, they vary a little bit. And I'll mark that. So now I have both of their heights marked. And then I'm using an adjustable angle so that I can exactly measure because I'm using a jig, and I'll show you that to cut when I cut that one, the angle isn't exactly the same every time. So I'm just measuring this log and adjusting that. And I'll cut that one accordingly. This side is 90, so I've got basically a 15 degree and then a 90. And that one is exactly the same as the front. Everybody has their own way of doing things. Um, there are lots of videos all over YouTube on how to do this. I'm just doing it the simplest way I know how. You know, a lot of people just use hand saws and, or you know, just regular tools or whatever. And some people are even more precise than I am. Like I say, I'm just doing what I have to do, which is just try to stay inside that line. and get it acceptable. So, here we go. That's one side, and it cut really nice, really close to the line. That'll be a good cut. And while I'm adjusting my saw, Richard will get those cut off. Come on. Move it. Log 29, we should know what we're doing. Okay, how do you look on your side? Uh, where's the uh 
Good. And we're going to spin your... No, we're just nope, going to walk straight, straight across. Over. All right, so for my top cut, I built this jig that basically has just got these wedges that are cut at 15 degree. It'll keep me really close. You can see the top of that's really nice and straight. And I'm just using an Alaska mill. So I just basically throw this on here. Hit it with a hammer. Make sure it's drove down nice and tight. Some of them, some of them are tighter than others. That one I would probably be fine to cut without the strap, but just so that I know that it stays down, I've just been putting a ratchet strap on it. And then I just fire up the Alaska mill. Cut that up to the line. Just that simple. And then we just slide it down to the other side. Don't edit that out. I won't. <laughs> that goes on the blooper reel. Yep. I keep all my my footage from all my videos because I figure someday I when I get blooper. famous, I'll do a blooper reel. This is a log cabin that we're going to take camping. Um, I'm going to set it up at the Johnny Appleseed Festival as my home as Johnny Appleseed. I want it to look like a real log cabin, but I can't have chinking because I'm going to throw this thing up and stay in it and then tear it back down. It's not like I can put a permanent chinking joint in there. So what we're doing is cutting a one inch square out of all of the corners and then when I stain this or whatever I'm going to put on the outside of it I'll paint that mortar joint a uh, gray color to resemble chinking that way to the eyes appearance it looks like it's chinked but not really if I need to put something in that gap later if the air gaps get a little bit bigger if they do they may not um, then I'll take care of that at the point but I'll still have that all just painted white or gray or Whatever color it just looks best, so that's what I'm doing now.
should be it. We should be done with that one. Perfect. 